ladies and gentlemen, we're back with another fabulous stream. And that means more Sigma Star goodness. We need to go, okay, we need to go down. And my buzzy fly on the Yep, we're gonna do the thing, we're gonna do the thing, girly wings, dirty wings. Gotta figure out what to go. Alright, for those of you who have forgotten what is going on, we are searching for a probe somewhere on this planet. Should put us. Yep. Okay, that's where I want to be. Alright. Okay, I got that gun data. Many moons ago. Where are we? Ah! No, I'm going in circles. I don't want to go in circles. I chose the wrong path. All right, let me try again, folks. Sorry about this. But yeah. Uh, we're trying to find our last probe. So we can do... Let me go back up. So we can figure out where the next planet is. So one more up. Okay, see, I sh that's the thing. I should not have gone down the ladder. All right, no down the ladder this time. Woo! Oops. Oh well. Yay, search player. So that should put us, so we want to go all the way right. Yep. Oh, that's right, you gotta go down to go right. But yeah, we use the girly wings here, which are called the girly wings because female alien girls spawn them and then they give them to their males that they fancy so I'm not being like smart butt or anything that's just what this is because when I'm actively using the wings I do not get into these random battles which I know is supposed to be a part of the game because it's like a leveling up thing but because my XP is not going to be super high related to my level right now since I'm backtracking. We are not worrying too much about the, the probes. Plus this helps us make steady progress on the game. So we're not having multiple hour long episodes of me just stumbling around like an idiot. 
which I know was partially because I refused to watch like nice detailed uh, let's plays other people have done or read text walkthroughs. But you know that's the appeal of the game. That's the appeal of this channel is, you know, we're we're willing to admit that we're not professional gamer here. That this is something that I am playing for the first time, and I want it to. And I, and I talked about this before in a previous episode, so if you're a regular watcher, yes, I'm going to retread ground here, but uh, I think it's worth it just to reiterate this point and emphasize it. You know, I want to make sure that people understand. Okay, this one's going to. Okay, that should take us to the orange sector, which is where I want to be ultimately. Nope. That's a probably item that used to be there. So how do I get to the orange sector? Do I have to go like down and around? Oh man, do I have to go down and around again? Oh, I wish, I, wish I could remember the navigation of this planet. I bet you I do. But yeah, I just I feel like it's it's more natural to kind of figure games out as you go along as you would theoretically play them. Uh, uh, so that's the only problem is wings avoid being pulled in the random battles, but they do nothing against the regular enemies who just in the way. Now, oh, come on. Am I still even on the... Yeah, I'm still on the same level. Okay, so there's nothing up here, but... Uh, I don't need the extra thing. Alright. Uh, let's try down this one. I know, I'm still getting some of the shooty shooties, but it's a lot less than I'd be if I wasn't using the wings, so. I still think in the long run we're helping with the efficiency of our probe search. You know, after all, there's a reason they created the item for the game. And specifically gave it to you just before the part of the game where you do a bunch of backtracking on previous planets. You get anything? Okay, nothing there. Okay, where are we? Okay. We're at Big Orange now, so we gotta find... I can't help but I want to check all these little orbs. Gotta find a little cave or something. Where we would. Look, you little jerk. Cut it out. Stop it. See? Now I'm going away, so it doesn't even matter. But yeah. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta find our little cave, because the other two probes were hidden in the cave, so I'm assuming this one's gonna be in a cave somewhere, too. ship just does not have the maneuverability for this stage. I don't like this ship. This is like my least favorite ship. The big one that on your first hit immediately spawns a baby ship is not bad because, you know, after that first hit you get your maneuverability. This thing just does not work in pretty much any stage. It is like the we want to punish you ship. I wonder if the game like rant picks this one if you're just like dominating these little fights too much. Like it's not my fault. These are flashback areas. 
I'm already several levels past what's needed to be in this area. Let me see, there's my beacon from before, so let's see what's over this way. We got time. We're going to find this probe. There's nothing over here but this statue. Uh, at least I got some health. So I guess we do have to go. Going down, down. That direction is down. So yeah, but otherwise, you know, it's a thing. But yeah, the game creates an item that makes it more efficient for you to travel through areas. Right before a part where you're traveling through a bunch of areas, so I gotta believe the developers want you to use the item. Because they don't just program stuff for you. If they don't want you to use them because that takes a lot of time and effort so I try when I look at gun data and say and decide not to use it it's like well maybe there's a you know a part in the game that you know this gun would be really good at maybe it's you know meant for this time you know Maybe my style of playing just doesn't work for the... You know, I try not to sit there and say any of the gun data. Ooh. Is useless because I recognize that, you know, they programmed the gun data for a reason. They decided, you know, after using it in the game, to keep it in, there has to be something going on with it. And certainly I will acknowledge that when it comes to shoot 'em ups like these little sequences are inspired by I'm not exactly the best player you know I get my butt kicked by life force I I'm not even gonna kid I'm not even gonna kid you on that one that is full-blown you know not a thing and uh, God, what was the other one I was playing again that you know I used to mess around with as a kid was a uh, legendary wings yeah that one whooped my butt the other night uh, it was it's a fun game but it was definitely required some twitch reflexes I was not ready to use uh, okay save point it means at some point in the game this was an important area. So let's see what's going on now. Maybe it's an... Oh, look! Right out of Cave 2. Interesting. Probably this is a boss fight thing, but I don't know. Let's explore the cave. Yeah, there's no rando battles in the caves, so not much reason to... Ooh, a section we can't cross without the wings. Gun data! Ooh, skull. Ingest. Ship engines may malfunction. Releasing bombs. I'm not sure that's... I don't know about that one. But yeah, I was saying there's no random battles inside the cave, so... We'll just walk around and chill. And kill our cave worms. It'll be a nice thing. So... Okay, that took us to this area, which up, I believe, was the boss fight. So, double check for nothing. No, nope, nothing is significant there. So, it shouldn't really be a thing right here. Yep, I remember this was the boss fight, so nothing up there. 
Let's think there was a down area. Yeah. Got it. Ah, shitty part. All right, well, 16's a low count. But yeah, generally, pure shoot 'em ups I'm not great at. Uh, the reason I managed to do halfway decent at these is because the RPG system here and the keeping of the upgraded gun data which is not something you typically get in a shoot 'em up Any bonus power-ups you get tend to go away when you die as punishment for dying. So it's, you know, kind of a meh thing. You know, it's not meh. It's more like meh. Ooh. Alright, I like that I can't get to this area without... Aha! -ha! See, I was just saying. You can't get to this area without the wings, so that's a good sign. Okay, last one's activated and seems to be linked to the other two. Now, how do I read this thing? We're talking about a resonating pulse. It will be audio, so I can decode it from here. Are you picking up anything? Yes, but the signal is only strong enough to get a locale of one planet. But something's wrong. It's been removed from the star charts as a condemned world. A forgotten planet. That's weird. So no way to ID the last planet? Unfortunately, no. Well, one is better than nothing. It may be worse than nothing. There is no star base there. We'll need to pull a favor then. How? Who do we have dirt on, besides Blue? Well, there's Commander Zelly on Starbase, too. But she wouldn't help. She hates us. She hates you? I'm her loyal servant who executed Blue, remember? Man, looking back, I almost wish I had. Don't say that. Blue may be a screw-up, but at least he thinks he's doing what's right for the people. At least he's not a backstabber. Charming as ever. Anyway, I think Zelly's our best shot. Then I'll have to stay here. Try not to tick her off. Then I'm off to Starbase 2. Alright, so I gotta find a quick way back to... Uh, I guess going down and around. If I can figure out where this little portal is. Let's see. Go up again. Oh yeah, for those who forgot from the... Uh, See, so you gotta line it up just right, I guess, up top there. Yep. You gotta love those ones where it takes just about all your energy to make it. Um, but yeah, after Syme found out I was a double agent, even though I changed my mind about being a double agent because it's, you know, everybody was lying to me too. Okay, so there should be one to that green zone, and then it's just a hop, skip, and a jump around. So it shouldn't take more than a second. Yep, there we go. But that's the portal. I should say portal, but underground tunnel. But yeah, Sam's a little upset at me because I'm a double agent, and I lied, deceived her about who I was. So she fell in love with somebody that wasn't 100% who I really am. It's all very romantical and also tragic. But that's what you get when you're in the middle of an intergalactic war. Sometimes people lie about who they are. And they mess with your feels. No, oh, no, not the feels. My feels are my most vulnerable spot. Wee. Boom, 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 boom. 
climb that big old ladder. Climb that big old ladder. Go in a cave. Ladder cave. You cave worms are nothing. I am mightier than you by half. Let's see where we're, yep. All right, we are totally on par with where we should be. Oh look, another safe spot. Let's go ahead and save again since so I have the probe. Obsessive saving. All right. Let me see. Gotta get my mad ups, yo. Oh yeah, we're doing good. Oh, gotta find my hidden switch here. Hold on. Juke. Oh no. But yeah, um, Life Force, Legendary Wings, the Gradius series, yeah, that kind of stuff. Uh, I enjoy playing the games because they tend to be very creative games. And pretty fast paced, but they can be very difficult if you do not have Twitch reflexes, which I do not have. So it's, it's, it's one of those things. I have a bittersweet love-hate relationship with pure shmups. It's like, I enjoy the frantic gameplay, but I'm not good at the frantic gameplay. So it's it's very awkward. Bzzz, bzzz. Alright now, come on, come on, try that again. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't want to kill you guys, but I don't want to be jumped on either. You know, it's your choice. We're going to play this the way you want it played. Look! One hand's not even on the ladder and I'm still climbing it. That's so silly. Black. Alright, we should be Alright, we're still just Woo! It's a big one. That's a big one. Alright, that should help us out. Should take us right where we want to go. Climb, 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 climb the ladders, climb the ladders. Ah! You tricky! You tricked me in a way that is most tricky. Come on, Switch, there you are. Going up, going up. Alright, that should be, yep, we are right where we need to be. I know I'm a map punk. I just live for my maps, but you know what? That's who I am as a player. That's why I honestly adore Super Metroid, because it was the first Metroid game with a map function. Like, I enjoy Metroid and Metroid 2, but I do not just consider them the epic masterpieces that Super Metroid is. Just because that lack of map feature really hurts a game like that where you're doing a lot of going back and forth and free exploring. Which, which is why I will say those were two games that I feel like the, the whole remake obsession did benefit because... 
you know, every Metroid game since has had a map. Because once they put a map in there, it was like, bam, this was the missing piece of the puzzle to make Metroid games everything they should be. So, I don't know. But yeah, Met Metroid Zero Mission and Metroid Samus Returns. Those are definitely uh, recommended remakes. I don't generally get big on remakes. But yeah, when, when you do do... When you have a reason to do them... it works out. You know, when, when you can honestly improve the game, there's a reason to do it. The The Luigi's Mansion remake that they released to kind of hype up the third game coming out didn't do anything for me. Um, Majora's Mask uh, 3D didn't do anything for me. I'm going to switch to my run boots. <gasps> Ooh, intrigue. Zelly is not here. Must find this new commander. Interrogate them. That's my little hidey hole one. Commander. Commander. Sog, this is urgent. Come in. Go. Yeah. Commander Zelly's gone. They've erased all rec record of her existence. Incredible. They're cleaning away every footprint. Pretty soon you and I will be the only ones left who know what's going on. Has she been transferred or killed? I noticed while working on SP2 that they have a detention section. I'll check it out. Just for fun, I'm going to see if I can go see the commander. There we go. Are you Commander Aimer? I don't see you in my appointment book. Who are you and what can I do for you? I'm Wrecker, previously assigned here to Commander Zelly. You are human. Yes. Can you tell me where to find the commander? I'm afraid the only commander on the Starbase is and has always been me. But I served with her here. I spoke to her the other day in this very room. You must be mistaken. Many Starbases look alike and they are rotated from time to time. You wouldn't be the first to walk in the wrong classroom, so to speak. Ah, uh, suppose so. How embarrassing for me. Hey, no mind. Well, I have things to attend to. Yes, me too. Forgive the interruption. We're getting lied to. We're getting lied to. I'm gonna do something about it. Woo! Ha 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 ha! New access. Hey, gun data. Sweet. What you got? Node orbit. Nope. I like my eight directional. Whoa. Whoopsie. Sorry about that, folks. Let me try that again. Bzzz, zip. <gasps> Ooh. Fan servicey. Commander Zelly, is that you? I'll get you out of here. They found us. Quick, who did this to you? Oh no, not the Tyrannical Overlord. Seems like such a nice guy. I'll take care of the crew. Can you find your way out? 
Doesn't let anyone escape. Not a single one wrecker. Count on it. <gasps> Ooh. We're gonna genocide. Let's go for it. Oh wait, don't have that second one. I got it. Yep, there it is. Whee! All right, now we should be ready for some. Well, that was, it was easy. Just do a just do a nice little straight sweep. Buy the books. Commander's hiding. Quick save won't hurt. Gain a little health. Ha ha ha! Oh, okay, nothing over there. Alright, let's take care of business. Wait, what's down here? Aha! Oh, he's got a little boomerang thing. There were more things going on in here. Good thing I checked. See, when video games tell you things like, make sure you get everybody, especially role-playing, mission objective style games, they do quite mean, literally mean, you've got to get everybody. Okay, that took us back to the comm room, so... The only person left should be the commander. Uh, now I can get in his door now that I killed all his regular guards. Woo! I don't like the way, you, I don't like the way you're doing that, sir. Got him! Ha ha ha! Looks like his schedule's clear now. I'm tempted to sabotage our lords by a weapon. He's been using all of us to search for it. Do, 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 do. Well, Simon, I found one he's missing. It's a forgotten planet. No starbase there. Without one, we're helpless. Can you do it without the overlord finding out? Ooh. Will you be safe here? <laughs> Yay! I've just hijacked Krill Starbase. Starbase 4?
Well, wait. He said I had some on the comm room, and he'd take it there, but then he just took it right here. What ifs? Alright, so I gotta go to Starbase 4 before I go to Starbase 5. So let's save it. Starbase 4 should be where, yeah, where I left Syme. Because we went to four planets, uh... See, it's only going to let me go to the same planet, so I don't get confused. Yay! Yep, Krill Star Base 4. Alright, let's see what's going on. Super run boots here. Alright, where are you adding time? I remember the geography of this star base. It's so crazy. Oh, here we go. You've located Scarlet. The reason my surface scans couldn't pick her up before is because she's underground. Where underground? Looks like a temple of some sort, beneath the ruins. She must have the antivirus. Why else would she hide there? When Bloon arrived to steal the virus, she must have run off with it. Which means Bloon killed Professor Zart to get it. Makes sense. I've moved a krill fighter to the launch bay and loaded the coordinates into the nav computer. Pilot the ship into the temple. Make your way to the central chamber and grab Scarlet. Oh, make sure you save your progress before launching. I'll be back in no time. Well, that was meta of her telling us to save it. I mean, obviously, yeah, that's good advice. Because this is probably going to be like a boss level equivalent here. You know, I kind of missed fighting the fossils. That was a neat little sequence. Anyway. Wasn't the real boss the same planet? So I guess this is the real boss of the same planet. New mission! Alright. Whee! I'll make a quick little save here as an alternate to the built-in save thing, just in case. as far as I can before I use any bombs because I don't know what's going to be waiting for me at the end. That's uh, not very long. Should have bombed there. Oh, good news is I'm close to a level up, so... It'll help make up for HP loss. There we go, there's my level up. There's my level up, buddy. Who's my level up, buddy? Ah. Oh, tricky traps. Tricky traps. Yep. Sap your HP, tricky traps. Uh, 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Die, 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 die. Welcome to die. Ooh, okay, this is going to be tight. Slide on in there. See? Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. God, I'm not even... I'm not even really trying on those sequences. Like, I just have a feeling this is going to be one of these things that's going to take me a couple tries to get right. My fun conversation story times are not going on because this is hectic. Come on, die, 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 die. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna watch this. Uh, what was I saying about Twitch reflexes? Ah, these sequ sequences are literally killing me. Ah! Okay. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, I'm just... I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to try that sequence a few times just to... Oh, I gotta select the new mission part. You know, it's already highlighted. I don't see why that's necessary, but... losing health before my level up because I know I'll hit the level up and that'll restore my health as long as I don't die before the level up. So. None of that in this first part is an issue. I just need to make sure that once I get... Ah, I gotta bomb them. Ah, I gotta bomb them because again I cannot lose... I mean, I suppose I could have just taken the health hit, but... Okay, there's my level up, so I gotta try to not... I try to not lose any extra hit points from this point onward, because... Ugh. Woo! Yeah, that is a no-talk section. Um... So that even if I goof once or twice, I still will be okay. So like this plant's a jerk, this plant's a jerk, this plant's a jerk, but it dies. Yeah, see, those look like they're just little tiny infinites infinitesimal HP drops, but every little bit helps. Ah! See, that's what I'm saying. When you know you're doing a sequence is where... Because the collision hits just mean so much... Oh God! I do not. I don't know how to do that sequence yet. I guess I gotta rush through it. But yes, this is like by far the biggest thing is not the enemies because this nice little eight directional gun. Except for the scorpion looking things that are high HP. Um, yeah, the nice 8 directional makes it real easy to pick stuff off as it's coming at me from the different sides. Because that's totally my playstyle. Come on, come on, die, die, die. 
yeah, I just have to be really, really careful what I do with. Let's see, down. Ah! See, it's just too tight in these sections. Like. This right here is all the scraping by the skin of your teeth. Oh my god. Okay, see, I don't get what's okay, if I go up, just ride the staircase. Woo! Okay, see that worked. That one was okay. I got through that without getting hit. Oh god, what? Why? Why is there... Okay, no, background's... Okay, that's just background. That's not harmful. Oh god, this is the boss part, isn't it? Oh, 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 Shoot, 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 shoot. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. This is exactly what I need. Eight directionals and maybe some missiles for... I don't know if the bombs do that much, but the eight directionals are very good for this part. Because it's much easier to line up shots when they're going in all areas. Just can't let it pop right on me like it's trying to do. Oh, this is so stressful. So stressful, so much the stress. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Ah, God, I can't believe I just ran into the ceiling like that. That just screwed me over. Okay, I know they have to pop up where they're still sitting. So, now that I'm at this part, I can start reasonably predicting where they're going to hit. Which is good. This actually is a boss that gets easier as you progress because there's less places they can come at you from. Oh, if he has a second phase, though, I am foobar. Oh, no, I really shouldn't use the male pronoun because there was... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at tiny little Scarlet. Okay, I've made visual contact with Scarlet. Pick her up already. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, after I hit that ceiling, I was so stressed out. Oh, that was stupid of me. Oh, it's my little sports bra wearing scientist. That was a close one. Thank goodness you got my note about hiding in the ruins. Nope. I left you a note on the table. Note written in English. A note only you could read? Wow, you're a total brain case. Uh, er, what matters is you have the antivirus, right? Yes, take it. It's like totally your problem now. Whee! Oh, God, I'm still stressing after that, boss. Yes, let us save over existing data. You know, I thought it was going to take me two or three more attempts than that to get through, but... Oh, uh, that was... That was lucky it didn't get much more complicated. Oh, nobody to calm room with. Alright, let's go see what the ladies are up to. Ladies that may or may not end up fighting over me. Okay, now that we actually have the antivirus, we can keep Tyranny on a short leash. We know Earth has a virus to destroy the weapon if it fell, falls to the krill. And if Earth gets the bioweapon, then you still have me. So for the time being, the play field is level. The only thing we don't know is why both Tyranny and the Tyrannical Overlord need six planets worth of alien matter to form the weapon. Why wouldn't one do the job? All the matter must be linked together for a reason. We'll find out soon enough. Commander Zelly sends a greeting. 
Starbase 5 has taken position over the Forgotten Planet. Let's head out. Okay, so I guess you guys are just going to stay in the lab while I do the hard work. Fine. I'll just, you know, save the universe. Be the only one do putting any hard labor into it. Y'all just stand there and look cute. I'm sorry, you can't even say that's demeaning because, like, they're drawn that way. The romantic interests. Not a bad person. Super speed! Chapter 5 Insights from the Dead <gasps> Is it a creepy planet? Commander, me? How about my own personal fighter? Any fighter in the fleet? No kidding. Hey, I know just the one. Man, this is incredible. Oh, and neither of you got anything to say to the commander? Huh? Fine. <gasps> and I get my own command room. Yay. All right. Let's see what's going on in the command room. Great, where is it? There we go. Aren't you going to sit in the chair? It's yours, right? <gasps> what are you three doing here? Hee hee hee! Who are they? Record, these are my little sisters. Watch it, they're trouble. Good grief. It's our pleasure, Mr. Record. You three look pretty young. Are you here to visit Sime? Visit? No, we do not visit. We are here to serve you, not visit her. She's not ready to serve a commander. She is bad. They all rang me. Can you believe it? You mean all three of them? Lolly, Flolly, and Sliss are trioplets. Triplets? Like triplets, but with a single consciousness. Trioplets are considered by Krill to be a single entity. Weird. You can say that again. Bug off, girls. No, wait. Maybe they can help. What do you girls know about this forgotten planet? It is haunted. Gee <laughs> hee. Ghost inspectors. What proof is there of that? We feel the ghost and the ghost feel us back. Ghost is cold. Ghost is angry. I'm going to the surface. Check it out. I've already been to the zombie scene. I'm sending this one out. Sam stays too. Our turn with Big Brother. Big Brother goes with us. Looks like they have a crush on you. Better watch your step. Feeling is hardly mutual. Ghost kind of lolly. Makes me warm and sleepy. Spectre begs to see Folly. Have to go. The Legion whispers to Sliss, angry words get noisy. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Now don't tell me that's normal. Who knows with them? Guess it's your turn to babysit. They are really creepy. Will you be okay? I don't believe in ghosts. I'll scatter the ships just in case. Wow. So Sime has creepy little sisters. Isn't that just awesome and special?
Whoop. Save complete. Do a redundant save just to be sure. Well, let's do, do two redundant saves. Because I think we're going to go ahead and call it here, folks. I know we're a few minutes short of our standard full episode, but this is an excellent stopping point. Um, we will go ahead and explore the creepy ghost planet with the creepy sisters next week. So join us. We will stream on, and hopefully we will make steady progress on the ghost planet. Until next week, I hope you continue to have a good time, continue to stay happy and healthy, and don't forget, if you don't want to wait a full week, you can always check out the Friday Ramblings, where I vlog and just kind of talk freestyle about pop culture stuff. It's always a good time for me. Hope you'll join me. And keep in touch because I do promise before the end of the year, Roulette Productions will be rolling out some alternate programming of an audio nature. Until then, I will see you hopefully Friday for the ramblings. If not, next week right here for another excellent stream. Everybody stay safe. Keep it real. Bye-bye.